We're up. We on? We are on. Hey, everybody. It's been a month. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, my gosh. And well, I'm missing my nose still. I think I'm allergic to your smoke. You're missing. Yeah, I do miss it. <laughs> I cease to smoke. Welcome to Dave and Joe's Liberty Show, everyone. Yeah. Thank um, you. Joe's going to get us set up. Well, we just... It's been a month. We've had some things come up, and but for you guys, it, there's not much time that lapsed because you can watch these videos yeah, anytime you, don't, you don't know you it's been a month. It doesn't matter. That's right, <laughs> right. But uh, we've had some separation anxiety, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we were seeing a lawyer for a while. But... We were? Were you dating a lawyer? Yeah. <laughs> oh. She's very hot. Yes. But, uh... So, anyway... Um, my wife and I took a little trip out of state, and uh, so I came over today to Dave's just to touch base, get back together, and you sh wanted me to watch something that Glenn Beck Glenn did. Glenn Beck, yeah, he did the uh, the speech at the, uh, oh shoot, I can't remember the name of the church. Fellowship? It, uh, something Fellowship Church in Grape, Tex Grapevine, Texas. Um, Texas. Did it on the 4th of July. Yeah. And I wanted Joe to see that, and uh, it made me feel like I really am not doing anything like I ought to be doing. <laughs> and why? what is the main point of that that makes you feel that way? Well, okay, when I watch, when you and I talk, or me and anybody talks, and somebody mentions something in the Bible or whatever, and it interests me, mm -hmm. and I want to know about it. Same thing with anything else, like with the Constitution. Pull out my constitution, or I'll pull out my Bible, Bible things, and I'll look that up. Right. That's almost the only time I do that. I do not have a time where I just study, uh -huh. or I, you know, um, I just take time out to read it or whatever. I don't do that. Right. Okay. I only right. do it if if I'm, not, if I'm watching something. Maybe it's something in a movie. It references a place in the Bible, and I'll, uh -huh. I'll, I'll go. Well, I'm curious about. I want to look at it and see what that says. Um, I don't do that. He was talking about writing notes in there and dog ear in the pages and you know. Right. You know, mine looks like I could sell it brand new. It's a terrible thing. Um, I feel like I'm not doing. Well, how many? How many? The uh, other thing, I guess, how many copies do we have? Americans, how, I mean, well, I wouldn't say all Americans, but I have I mean, four Bibles and one book that explains what the Bible means. <laughs> I mean, like in uh, layman's, yeah. layman's terms. Right. Uh, um, so, but which is funny because since I hardly ever. That, exp you know, the expl explain explanatory books. Right. I mean, it's funny. Uh, no, no, it's funny because I don't. Funny that I would have four Bibles and a book that explains in layman's terms. Yeah, things, when I don't really get into it, get into well, it the way I ought to. Well, I think that's a healthy thing to have that kind of conviction, or or at least that thought of okay, I don't get in my Bible enough, rather than just saying, just not even think about it at all. Right. I mean that because to me that's the first. That's one of the first steps in acknowledging that either we have a problem or that we need, you know, there's it's, something we need to work on. It's something I need to work on. Yes. But it's, a, it's an acknowledgement of it. Sure. If we don't even acknowledge it, that means we're blind to the fact that we even have an issue or Absolutely. whatever. Well, so, I mean, the only thing is, if, if, I, if I wasn't someone that tuned in and watched <laughs> Glenn Beck, I wouldn't even know that. You yeah. know, I would have never even thought about that. Right. Time out for a second. <laughs> okay, we're going to pause here. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. Get away. All right, well, all right, all right. Here we are. Again. But again, I mean, how I think today in our country, you know, how many people today even have that conviction, you know, or would have that conviction? You know what I'm saying? This I mean, it's a problem. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I, I believe um, that's. that's it's a problem that I'm not doing what I ought to be doing. But it's a, a problem that a lot of people don't even think about that. Right. How many people even have a Bible to... Well, today I want, yeah. Um, I wonder about that, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I, I can't don't hear know. you. But, um, I can't hear you. But we 
better you start. Hear me? I hear you very. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very clear. We might want to sit up a little bit, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, I mean it. You know what? Where do we start? You know, I mean, I know we want to get a a, con- a message out to people that. Like a warning, a concern, you know, uh, an alarm, if you will, about where this country's headed and where we've gone away from the Constitution, you know. And, oh. and but like Glenn said, you know, George Washington, the founders of our country, and that we, uh, we are a Christian nation that has gone away from turned our back yeah yeah, yeah. on god yeah. and and the thing is i mean i i think you know for me and my family um you know we have a strong faith history history sorry, history historically historically you know in our in my family i mean i can i can my grandmothers i can tell you because i've known them i have two that are still alive but they're they're God-fearing women, and you know, I've been blessed to be able to pass that teaching on to my children, and then uh, the most important thing I feel like, and, and I think Glenn touched on this too, but is living that out, living out that faith, right. which I didn't do that. I mean, you know, I thank God He woke me up like He's trying to get your attention. He woke me up when I was 30 years old, which was 15 years ago now. You're old. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But it's, you know, it's like... Um, I'll be 30. I, I could be... I'll be, be 30, 30 in two years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 28. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you wish. I just had a rough life. <laughs> <laughs> rough living. Yes. But that's, a, I mean, that's who, who that's what Jesus is about, the redemption of our rough lives, you know, I mean, the fact, for me, I think about the fact that he woke me up and, you know, he turned my, my attention, he got my attention. And kind of like what you're saying about today, uh, you know, that you're kind of convicted about what Glenn said. And Glenn looked at different, he had different Bibles from people of history and how some of them had no writing in the Bible, and, and or the pages had not been used or worn. Like mine, they, yeah. they just weren't used. They weren't. Yeah. Read. Yeah. They mine read. too. I mean, uh-huh. until one of the most, the biggest things I right here I carry today is one of these small Gideon Bibles. Now it's not it doesn't have the whole scriptures, but it's just the 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 New Testament and Psalms and Proverbs is in here. But I tell you, when I have a minute, I try to. I, it's it's only I believe by by the Holy Spirit, can, you know, reminding me because you know we have an enemy that doesn't want us to know what this book Absolutely. says, and and that is Satan. I'll and they're him. in Washington. <laughs> well, they, they don't want they us can, to, yeah. to read that, and they don't want us to the read Constitution. the Constitution. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, because yeah. the thing is, it's. It, I think it comes down to who is our master? Who do we serve? Well, you know what Beck said about, uh, you know what? Our citizenship citizenship in this country is over. Yeah, he did. We yeah. are now just, if you choose, to just be a citizen of God in heaven. Now, why, yeah, what did, why did he mean by our citizen this, in this country? Because we are no longer America as... John Wayne and flag, what the flag once represented. We're, we're George Washington. The found, we, we are not that country now. And we haven't been. It's not just because of Obama. He's just the one that just oh, kicked yeah. the freaking doors open. Yeah. It, it, uh, um, we've been going downhill for a very long time. And um, yeah. we are not. We, we are not. The United States of America, when you watch the old movies and stuff, I'm sad. It's sad to say that. I don't say that with any happiness at all. I, I, it's very depressing. Yeah. But, you know, I, yesterday I saw, uh, um, I was flipping around, and probably an hour into it, The Cowboys, an old John Wayne movie from the early 70s. Okay. And uh, 
he took, he got, he had to do this cattle drive. And everybody knew they couldn't help him. And they, they were getting older. And people couldn't do it. So he went to the schoolhouse and got all these kids. Oh, really? You never saw that? Uh-uh. Oh, I don't think so. This is a John Wayne movie? Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's a great movie. And, uh, I mean, anybody that knows it, knows it. And if you don't, you don't. So I'm not even going to try to explain it all, but it's just a, a symbol of, you know, what America used to be. The determined, determination and the, the will and the, the drive and the freedom to do, you know. Yeah. And to stand up for yourself. You know, you don't call the governor, you don't call the sheriff, you know, if something happens, you take care of it. And, uh, and, sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes you lose. Which happened to me. <laughs> but, um, I have to but, look that up. Uh, it's a good movie. <laughs> but, well, it's John Wayne. They're all great. <laughs> it's John Wayne, people. It's, you can't go wrong with John Wayne. Yeah. But, um, true symbol of freedom and America. America the way it used to be, the way it ought to be, and the way you know, it'll never be again in my lifetime. Especially yours, because you're a lot older. <laughs> well, I think, I mean, I, you know, Glenn talked about, he said something about, maybe, you know, how we, you know, stand up or how, how we live our lives. And, um, I mean, I, I guess that's kind of what I'm, you know, in, hearing from that or interpreting maybe, but to the extent of, you know, what we can do now, um, you know, in our lives. And honest, I guess I think about the fact that, you know, reaching or touching the people that our lives can make a difference in. Influencing, I guess. Sure. And, uh, and honestly, you know, this whole internet, social media, you know, the YouTube channel, you know that we have, and and the getting messages out. That's a gr- that that can just blast out, and that could, you know, reach so many people. You know, and and ultimately, I guess, if is that what we want? I mean, yes, but is it going to stick? You know, or is it going to make people think? Because ultimately, it comes down to the fact that we're okay. You have this conviction. Of your Bible's not, you don't look in your Bible, your Bible's not read enough. But the thing is, you have to decide to make a change. Right. right. To, to make, to, to, to turn and, and to do that. I can't, I might be able to encourage you, I should be able to encourage you and influence you or, you know, but in the long run, you're... Each person is, is responsible. We're for ultimately their own. responsible right. for our own lives, right? And, yeah, and and I guess you know, I guess we have maybe have the big picture or the big numbers in mind of how but many people you but can influence. It's also each of our responsibilities. Yeah, Glenn talked about to that, try maybe. to influence. Yeah, it other, is. It's our. It is. You know, you don't go and twist arms or or be a. Uh, uh, Best about it, right? You know, but you know what? In my life, you know, I got into twenty-two years ago. This month is July. Um, I started listening to Rush Limbaugh. Okay, and um, wow. it was a, because somebody at work. You must have been six years old. I was six years old. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Rush baby, and um, and this gal at work. Yes, I was working when I was six. I've been working a long time, people, and I'm ready to retire. But um, um, she was laughing Child every labor. day. You know, we all had our headphones on there at work. We all used to listen to the radio in the middle, but there got to be enough people where nobody could decide on what to listen to. So we just had head. Oh, here. okay, yeah. So everybody yeah. listened to whatever they wanted to. This, right. This gal at work, Rita, she was listening. And she would chuckle, and she would tell me about this guy, Rush. Are you and, serious? And, um, one day she was just pounding the desk and pounding. She goes, Dave, you got to tune into this station. Just, just, <laughs> just listen for five minutes. And, That's and hilarious. Like, 
man, what the hell? All right, you know, like, that's what I did. <laughs> that changed my life. Uh, um, uh, what was Rush all about? What was what was he? Um, what was on everything? I mean, if that day, I don't know. I mean, was, no, no, no. But in general, what? Because I'm, I'm, I've heard of him, but I don't know who he is. Or well, he's mostly political, but he'll do news. You know. Put his spin on what the news is. Uh huh. Okay. And talk about okay. politics. And he's very partisan. He's a Republican and doesn't like the Trump guy. Yeah. And um. And a conservative. Christian con- or cons- Christian conservative. Okay. Although he doesn't like to talk about religion. Oh. Um. He, he keeps that out. Although he is a Christian. Okay. But he that's not part of the show. Okay. Uh, um. But I just liked it. It was. Everything I thought, but I was afraid to say, because I didn't even realize. Oh, I didn't okay. even realize, because I was so brainwashed by regular television when I was watching a regular evening news. Right. I had no idea. You know, and I thought, oh, well, I better be smart. If I think this, I'm stupid, you know. I, I better. And I said, this, uh-huh. is, this guy's saying everything I think is right. Uh-huh. And, um... I mean, it just snowed. It didn't take me five five minutes, and I was <laughs> you were hooked on. And, and what sucked was that was like a Wednesday. Yeah. And at the end of that week, when you know, hook, line, and sinker, he he had me. You know. Yeah. Well, he was on vacation the next week. Oh, <laughs> was he a was. Going guy. Oh <laughs> so my. So I was like dying. That's funny. <laughs> but uh, um, but ever is since is he still then, on? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. I, we listen to him at work every day. So, so ever since then. Well, that's when I started getting into politics. I started paying attention to things. I started knowing I'm not alone out there with all this stuff. I, you know, when I started getting, I joined the Young Republicans. And I, you know, six and, years and, old, and uh, I was, you know, they, they looked <laughs> at me funny because I had long hair and I and I was six. And, um, <laughs> They're like, what's this guy doing? They thought I was an imposter, you know. The young the, Republicans. The long hair, huh? you know. It, uh, you know, and the earring, too. I'm sure I have my earring. And, uh, and yeah, I still have my ear pierced. I just don't have an earring. But, um. Yeah, I did that, too. Is yours still there? No, it's grown. It's not even grown. Is that the left How long right? did you have it? Not very, probably quite a year. Okay, well, I had mine for a long time. I mean, and I still... Yeah, you can. Even though I probably haven't had one in in like eight nine months, it, the hole's always. I mean, I actually have two in this. Um, uh huh. But the first one I had one in, here where you can hear out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's coming. Later. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, when I'm your age. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Hearing aids. But um, but no, I just started getting involved in stuff. I started learning about stuff. I I I changed the whole way I thought about. Like, yeah. About uh, Murphy Brown and. He, Oh, well, I was a child, but I used to watch that, you know, all those shows that people watch back then. It wasn't about that stuff. I mean, I still watched, I like to watch fun stuff and everything. But I knew what they were doing in those shows. There's an agenda there. You know, the whole Dan Quell stuff with uh, Murphy Brown. Mm, I'm not. I don't, that doesn't come to my recollection, but my wife will be the first to tell you. Tend to uh, we it, not it, it made me aware hear. of agendas. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, Agi- it, like like someone that has a specific yes when, reason for why they're when doing I'm watching the news, when yeah. I'm watching a television show, a movie, right? I What's can the quickly agenda? see really? what the agenda really? is. When I'm talking to somebody, I know who they are. Really, I love that. That's awesome. It's great when you play poker. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. When you know exactly who they are and what they're, uh, yeah, what what they're all about. But it really does. I mean, if you really study it and you really look at it and you know who these people are, you can read them well. And um, well, I uh, think honestly, it's like the underlying message is the agenda of a movie, right. of you know a program. What do I want this? What do I want the audience? Right. How do I want to change their mind or right. alter their mind about something? Right. By presenting this to them. And uh, I think um, there is subtlety in that today, as there always has been. I'm, 
you know, that it's there's an underlying message that we don't, uh, that we're being indoctrinated with. Well, that's exactly what that. That is. they want you to re rethink, or they want to change the way you think about re-education things. camp, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. like saying like 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 something that is wrong that is not right that is that is something that's natural that's not natural. Sorry, and then they. The, the culture or the, the media or the, you know, the entertainment, it, you know, or whatever it may have or it may come in, that it, that they, they get you to think, well, maybe that is okay. Right, because they make you like these characters. Oh, yeah. Be, they make okay. you attached to these people. Okay. You, you kind of can relate and with them. And you think, maybe. well, if they think this is okay or they go along with that. Right. Well, hey, I, they're cool. Then it, like must the, okay. then it must be okay, but the and then it's okay. This powerful. is awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this in there. And if we are do not or are not in this book, and if we do not know what it says, we do not know the difference between truth and lie. Because ultimately, that's what it comes down to. Well, that's the truth. There is well, yeah, that's what we accept as truth. But most people say, you know what they say? I okay. This is really concerning. And, and it kind of elevated me a little bit in my spirit. But two weeks ago, uh, I met with a guy who I'd previously met with because the church he's in, it's a Christian church, okay? It's, it's an, it's a, I'll just say it's the United Methodist Church. It's not every United Methodist Church, but it's a United Methodist Church. Well, there's a pastor I met one time who uh, I talked to, and I ran into him. And as I visit, talked with him, and it started about this a particular issue, which is very sensitive in our in our culture today, which I'm not going to be specific on. But ultimately, as I talked to this pastor within a, within less than five minutes, it came out and get this: he's a pastor in the United Methodist Church. That he said that the Bible is not the Word of God. He said that man wrote it. It's not inerrant. It's it's not the inspired word of God. Okay, so that's been a while ago. That's been several years ago. So what? Okay, so what I'm saying though, so this this friend of mine that I reached out to several months ago, he reached. But when we had lunch and and you know we talked about some issues that's going on in the church. Anyway, he reached out to me a, a couple months later, which has been a, just a couple weeks ago now. And today is, by the way, just for posterity, it's July 26th of 19, oh, 2015. Anyway, okay, so anyway, <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to get to real quickly is this friend, as I met with him and talked to him, and he's, again, he's in the church, as far as I know, he's a Christian, you know, as far as I know, he's Bible believing. Blah blah blah. Well, apparently not. Well, and what happened though is is he said the same thing the pastor did. Now I should be more concerned about the the fact that the pastor said this because he's actually leading uh, the church. Right, supposed to be the leader. But but I'm concerned about my friend, and I'm like, and that's what he said to me. Okay, so he said this is not. And so if it, what ultimately what I'm getting to is if we can in our own hearts and our own minds. If we can, if we can deny this as truth, then how do we know what truth is? How do what? How do we define, or how do we? What's our rule? What's our guide? You know, and to and, and when people start saying stuff out there, and they're the the culture, the world is trying to indoctrinate us to think this is that that whatever they want to do is good and right and okay, and we don't know. And we haven't accepted this as good and right and okay, then we're pretty much we can be duped into believing anything they anyone wants us to believe. Look at what our government is doing. Look at what they're telling us. Okay, like what? Just okay. give me some examples. Uh, deal with Iran. Yeah, the the arms nuclear deal. This is a great deal for us. Yeah, that's what they're telling us. Every, I mean, you name it. Um, gay marriage. The last I looked in the Constitution, it didn't address marriage right at all right of um, men women men men right men, women men and dogs cats and dogs living together you know whatever yeah. um it doesn't say 
And the Tenth Amendment says anything not in the Constitution, that's up to the state. There's nothing in the Constitution about drugs. Nothing in the Constitution about marriage. There's nothing in the Constitution about pretty much 98% of what the federal government's doing right now. Yeah. But everybody thinks that they we ought to do it. And I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm just a young guy. I was six a minute ago. <laughs> and um, I don't know anything else but my time on this earth. Just, so yeah. you think from the time you can remember, that's when the start was for you. Yeah. For you. When, when, whatever you can remember growing up, that's the way it was. And that's the good old days. And that's, you know. Um, and for me, I'll be realistic. I mean, for me, it was Black Trans Amps and Burt Reynolds and Dukes of Hazard and, uh, um, <laughs> you know, and all that stuff. Right. Uh, growing up. And, and um, that's what it was to me. But it wasn't. There was a whole lot before that. And you got to realize, we all started life missing out on freedoms we didn't know we didn't, that we were granted but never had because we weren't alive to know we did at one time. Like what? Like what's one? Um, having every single communication recorded. Well, that's because of technology, too. Um, doesn't matter. I mean... Doesn't matter. We had technology back then. We had telephones since 1900. I mean, <laughs> or before. Uh, um, they weren't listening in on it and recording. Um, um, every, um, you know, I don't want to say this because I'm, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this. So, all you mad mothers, just be quiet, Okay. But, you know, when you were a teenager and you got busted by a cop, you and your buddies were out cruising and you had beer or whatever, they took your beer and sent you home and said, I don't want to see you out here. Everything's a major crime. Yeah. Mr. Meaner stuff, and I do know people get killed, and I apologize. Anybody that has anybody that was killed or hurt or messed up, bad, I, I, hey, that's awful. But I'm just saying, we take uh, things that aren't that serious and blow them up into big, huge things. The Confederate flag, for God's sakes. The Confederate flag never killed anybody. The, a gun on its own has never killed anybody. Yeah. It, it, it's all upside down. People mm -hmm. do these things. You know, what we're letting, uh, for, for uh, uh, political reasons, we're letting our borders be flooded. Yeah. Um, I mean, people. we're concerned about in, in Mexico, our and not just security. Mexico, but they're going through. That's Mexico. kind of funny. A, and you know what? They're letting out murderers, yeah. and rapists, and kidnappers, and all these people out of prisons. And we're not throwing them out. We're not keeping them in, in prison. Right. And somebody gets a, a DUI and they're screwed for a couple years. Yeah. You know what? I'm yeah. sorry. You know what? Yes. And I and. Okay, I've been busted for that, and you know what? Um, I should have been in trouble, and I have been in trouble. I'm sorry, I can't let that. <laughs> but but um, I never intentionally meant to do this stuff. We're talking about people that intentionally, I mean, I didn't intentionally mean to hurt anybody, and I didn't. Um, um, but we're treating people that make wrong decisions worse yeah. than people that intentionally. Uh, rape someone or kill someone or both or whatever. Right. Um, it's back. Everything is so upside it's, down. Yeah. Everything yeah. is so upside down. It is. Uh, it um, is. But the, the problem is, I think is, and we're, we just sit back and we're not, we allow it to continue because it's like, we don't have, it's, I, I almost think, I almost, I feel like we, we don't know what to do or, like who can make a difference? Who can make a change? And you know, politically wise, you know, like the Congress, can they step up and say, you know, stop the madness of the decisions that are okay. being made by the Con White House? Congress doesn't exist. 
I mean, can't they stand yes! up and, and they sh- say, stop? Why? Yes. Okay, so they're not. They're Why? Not. Because he's the, okay, he's the first black president. And everybody's afraid. And I don't think that they disagree. I. You don't think they disagree 100%? I don't. <laughs> but they There are sound a handful like of people. Oh, sure they do. Because they want to throw snacks to the base. So do you think ultimately maybe the whole it thing is just Do you know corrupt? there's supposed to be three equal branches of government? What does that mean? Not one of them is more powerful right. than the other one. Right. That's supposed to keep everybody in check. Right. The Congress doesn't exist. What are they doing? How are they stopping anything? They're not. You know, one word that comes to my mind is impeachment. Yes! That's what... (laughs) Yes! Thank you! For how many years? um, They should have... Okay, there's about a hundred and some... Probably two hundred things this son of a bitch... Sorry. Sorry. Should be uh, Forgive us our language. Uh, um, Yeah. Right. And why not, though? That's what I'm... That's what my thing. Or is no. or is it because it's all broken and corrupt? Yes. That nobody. No, there, there are. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yes. I'm just saying yes. that because it's I'm, both. It's both true. Uh, <laughs> no, it is. They're all a bunch of land. Because I don't care. Speed. I don't think like Glenn said. We're not. No. It's not racist. Nobody's racism is not the issue. It's the, what no, did he it say? Is. It is. What did he say? What Glenn I, said? I, I don't know which part you're talking. Where about. Where he said it more than once. He said. It's not racism. It's hum. It's a human problem. It's not a right. It's not a it's color. Not a racial problem. It's not color a color problem. Thing. Thank you. It's a. It's a. So I don't think it's a no, color thing. It is. I think it's a no, human. No, because of like political Glenn's correctness. Said. He's talking about and re- Glenn's talking about real life. Nobody else is. Everybody <laughs> else is politically correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um. No, it, it's a political correct. What? The, the 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 news is not going to the news hasn't even talked about any like that one I can't remember that pretty girl that got shot a couple, by that uh, five times really five times he was uh, I don't know. Uh, arrested I and released every time oh is that the and, guy that was an illegal and he shot that woman l- illegal yes. immigrant yes. and killed a lady okay I didn't know I knew uh, he uh, was. Legal. They don't cover that. If you, if I didn't have Fox News in the blaze, you, if, if you didn't want, you would yeah, know about. Yeah, I heard about. Um, well, you were through, watching CBS, ABC, no, it or was NBC. Through, I think it's through Moody Radio. Yeah, I bet you that's what it was because it wasn't yeah. on one of the networks, and none of this stuff gets on. Um, well, so ultimately, cannot, people don't watch that stuff. None of the network news. You know what? I understand the networks have some fun shows on. Watch the fun shows. That's fine. Don't watch the news from there. I plead with you. And you probably don't because if you're watching this, you're probably not a hundred. <laughs> so, but get your grandma, your grandpa, your parents, or whoever. Stop watching that crap. It doesn't tell you anything. It just indoctrinates you. Yeah, that, that uh, goes uh, back uh, to uh, what uh, we're talking about. Right. And uh, what a little bit ago about they they tell you what they want you to hear. And the side and they on, don't tell you at all about what's going on. It's against that's be against that's, their agenda. You know? Right. Um, well, okay. So back to the the government, the Congress, and everything. So why why don't they stand up and you know and and impeach? Do I got to say this again? <laughs> well, because you said it's because of race. Yes. But it is. I can't believe that. But that's why. Because it's not about his race. It's about yes, it staying up is. what's right. What about what's it right? It will be about his race to everybody that reports on it. You work at a newspaper, for God's sakes. In sales. I don't care. you still <laughs> got to know about the news. I mean, you've got to know something about the place you work for. I mean, you don't cause trouble with people to get inked by the barrel. You don't cause trouble with people that put their face on TV every Got their own agenda, and guess who it's for? The White House. 
the money. Where the money is, right? It's an agenda. <laughs> yeah, um, but why do... Why? I guess people... Have it's a left they believe com- left wing communist given, so- socialist communist agenda. By God, um, they, they will nail you. You're, you're a homophobe. You're a racist. You're blah blah blah. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. They're right. gonna get you on whatever. The man that's a president happens to be black. They're going to use that. Everybody that dis right now, if you watch the regular news. Everything, any any time a Republican disagrees with something, the president's too, well, it's a racist. Oh. Uh, no, the guy's a freaking communist. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like he doesn't care about this country. He, no, he cares, my... he cares greatly about it. He cares about destroying it. Yeah. And he set okay. out to do it. <laughs> And he's he, done by a, God, he's done a he good is job. He's awesome succeeding at what he's wanting. To well, do. and the thing is, and like, you know I, what? When he got when he was elected, Rush Limbaugh got all kinds of heat for this. He said, "I hope, I hope he uh, he fails." Oh, everybody came down on him. Really, you know about that? Well, no, even he's a Democrat, but you should still wish him well. And Bob, no, he met because he knew who he was, what he wanted to do. And he did not want him to do this. Right. He's it, doing right. what he, he he's accomplishing. And that's yeah. what Rush meant. I yeah. don't want you to do that. Destroying the. I hope you fail at that. Right. Well, I guess Rush didn't get his wish, and we're all gonna sink. Is that blinking because it's over? Or? No, it's okay. It's recording. But I. I think we're losing power. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, we are. <laughs> well, okay. Now, look, if we back up from all that discussion, you know, in this, in the great scheme of, of things, one thing that comes to my mind, and, and I want your reflection on this, is God, you know, in my holy book, the scriptures, God tells us, if he's sovereign, if he's in control of all things, if if I believe that, and it says in the Old Testament that he appoints kings and judges that the Lord does, then you know God has appointed Obama in the White House yeah. along with his uh, th- those that have his same uh, way of thinking. Then why is God allowing why this? why is t- why is America called an exceptional? Because you can live the American dream. Okay, what does that mean? You can have what is a the, successful life. You have everything that's going to make you how happy. How is it different than any the other car, country at any other time? The house, world. the picket fence, the kids. America. Remember the rush or the rush? The Glenn thing was well known. And he said, George Washington, after he gave his inaugural, his first inaugural address. Four hour covenant with God yeah. for this nation. And God wasn't on our side. We were on his side. Right. So that made him with us because we were with him. Right. Um, we've been and that and we and because of that, and actually it's in the Constitution. Those those the Bill of Rights, the first ten uh, amendments, are um they come from God, not human. The rights. Right. And our government recognized that and made right. that law. Um, Fourth Amendment, Second Amendment they're working on. First Amendment doesn't exist hardly because of uh, political correctness. I mean, you can't, you can't even, you know, if you're a baker or pizza owner, whatever, and you want to say, well, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do your gay wedding. You're buying hundreds of thousands of Right. Oh, no, yeah. That's yeah. your right. If I have a business, that's my business. I can serve uh, 
squatty, scruffy guys with the short, spiky hair, and that's it. If I want, I mean, just those guys like that, and that's it. I'm sorry, you know, you're too right. tall, and you, you can't grow that out good enough. I'm sorry. Come right. back when you, you know. No, I should be able to serve or not serve whoever I want. We are the exceptional country. No other country. There's never ever been a time in the history of the world people enjoyed the freedoms and the luxury mm. that we have on this in this country since its founding yeah. in the history of the world is never it's a blip in time everybody else was enslaved everybody it, it, it's a it's a and now we're going back voluntarily we're going back yeah Government well that makes best. me that makes me think, though, like Glenn even talked, you know, as far as making a stand or the the church not not standing up. So with that being said, how do we, I mean, how do we do that? How do we stand? How do we organize? I mean, is that, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Does that, does that make, does that, is that, is that a good question? You make a video show and you try to get as many other people to get other people together. Well, and Glenn's doing and, that um, uh, 828. Right, right. I mean, you know, that's to call the, the people together. That's what you do. You just try to connect with other people. And you try to get them to connect with other people. And you try to get them to connect with other people. It's like Amway. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a great bunch it's of It's like folks. the pyramid scheme. No, well, no, no. Amway's, not that. Okay. By the way, Amway's not a pyramid. I'm, it's, I'm, it's a great bunch of people, and uh, I was in that before. I'm not now because that was too much for me. And um, they were excellent, um, and, uh, great <laughs> time. But no, no, you just try to connect with other people and keep it going. Well, and I think it, that what I hear is you know what you do it you, is the more, vote you is the be, vote. You try to be more neighborly. That's where we can make it. Like no, that's one no, of the areas no, I think no. Glenn's talked about is the through the the vote. Well, you got you, you got to vote, right? But that's not where it's. It's not from the top down. It's from the bottom up. Uh, okay, that's where we start. The people, the people, up, not the bottom down. The bottom down is what's killing us right now. Everything's being down, commanded the from down. Washington D.C. on top, telling all of us what to do. Right? No, we're gonna we're telling them what to do. That's the way it's supposed to be. We're the boss. Right. We the people. You're, you're, we're the boss. Everybody's so okay to run around. They're, uh, they're uh, complacent. We're, we're, we're complacent. Well, we're, we're, well, please, mommy, please, daddy. They act like they're their parents. Or, and, uh, you know. <coughs> um, anyway, with... Uh, you know, give me some food stamps. Give me some. I can't do this or that. You know what? Do something for God's sakes. Do something. You know, you only got and one that's life. That's our message for the night. Get off your ass and do something, you lazy piece of crap. Well, because uh, I think ultimately, because there's, you have more value than what the world says you, you know what you when, have when you have some, abilities and when gifts, somebody give, god given when somebody gives you something there's a bit or there ought to be if you have any morals at all you ought to feel like you owe somebody something but when washington gives you everything right. you got uh you are you lose you vote the right way for the people that are doing that yeah they keep taking control of you and they uh no, oh, we're free people. Act like it. God, ultimately, I'm so disgusted. Ultimately, the, uh, okay, the thing is that, that, I, that I'm hearing is that who gave you your life? Who gave you breath? Who gave you, you know, the air to breathe? Hopefully without secondhand smoke. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, okay, give, you know, we're to, you know... Uh, uh, be under the the government God puts us in the country, but ultimately, and we're supposed to follow their laws, okay? But unless God says, unless 
those laws disagree with his law, then we should default to his law. Because ultimately then it's under an evil regime, the government would argue. So ultimately, you know, be grateful. Like like you were saying as far as if if someone gives you something, you should be thankful and you oh in a way you But but what I'm right. saying ultimately though is ultimately God gave you life. Right. God gave you you owe breath. him uh your life. You I owe, mean it's it's not a you ahead, owe sorry. him uh, the thankfulness to try to make some gratitude. Of yourself. Yeah. And and see that you're more than show what him, the world it, wants you to Show think him you your worth him giving you a right. shot. You know? Right. He gave, he you give, a shot. yeah, he'll give you a uh, second chance, a third chance, you know. As long as you ask, he'll keep doing Yeah. And just I mean, my our prayer is that you seek the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, mind, and strength. Love the Lord your God. Get off your ass and do something. I'm talking to you. That's right. You know who you are. <laughs> That's a message <laughs> right to right to the gut. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, I don't I, know. It's, I am just so sick and tired of sheep. A nation of sheep. Well, and that's fine as long as we're what we no no listen as long as we know who our shepherd is. Okay. If our if the government's our shepherd, we're worshiping the wrong or we're following the wrong Absolutely. leader. But God is our shepherd. Jesus Christ is our shepherd. Absolutely. And he says, make something. Of and, and he and the thing is the difference between him and the government is he loves you. Cares about you. He he has your best interest and in heart. Where that where a man made law government like we have.